COVID-19 has created hurdles for students, staff and parents as the upcoming school semester brings a new set of challenges. ABC 7's David Furtado spoke with a local psychology professor about how to prepare your child for a very different school year. As the school year gets ready to begin, students are faced with a sea of uncertainty and new social rules. So what can parents do to make sure their child is ready for what lies ahead? Students sometimes, especially young children, have a hard time with uncertainty. So it's really important to kind of sit down with children and to talk about what to expect. In the days of yore, a large part of the school experience are those personal connections. High fives, sharing supplies, and physical games on the playground. But COVID has flipped how we connect on its head, and young children often can't keep their impulses in check. Ashley Pinkham, Associate Professor of Psychology at West Texas A&M, says this is a good opportunity to practice with them what social distancing means, to practice with them how to um, greet their friends in a non-physical contact way. So parents can prepare their children to go back to school by practicing a fun new wave to give to their teacher on the first day, as opposed to the hug or the high five they normally would do. And that practice coming as part of a larger conversation on how recess, lunch, and the classroom setting will be different. So that they're not walking in on the first day of school to an entirely unknown experience. Instead, they're mentally prepared for it. But what about masks? Pinkham says they can be a tool to help harness perspective taking skills. But for young children, she suggests putting a positive spin on the situation. Your mask is something that gives you superpowers and your power is to help protect other people. When you're wearing the mask, you're protecting your teacher and your friends. But when you touch your face, when you take your mask off, you're losing some of that superpower. But for the older students, we don't want to undervalue what they understand about the world. It can be useful to sit down and show them the, the graphs of flattening the curve and to explain to them their role in the pandemic. Pinkham stressing that parents play a large role in getting their kids to practice COVID safety measures. Adding leading by example is key. For ABC 7 News, I'm David Furtado. And Pinkham adds when children get tangible awards for wearing a mask, it creates a situational compliance that only works when the authoritative figure is there. She says instead you should discuss the benefits of wearing a mask to prevent the spread of the illness.